everybody, welcome back to Gun Deals. Today I'm excited to go over this PSA uh, pistol here. This is chambered in 300 blackout. So uh, let's go ahead and get dive right on in. Okay, so starting at the back here, uh, we do have the SBA3 brace. Uh, there is an SBA4 brace on the market. I actually prefer the three. Um, I, again, it's just personal preference, but I do like the SBA3 uh, brace the best. It does come, it is adjustable. It has multiple uh, positions that you can adjust this to. It does have a QD sling on either side here that you can attach uh, your sling to. It does have a standard mil spec buffer tube right here. And then we'll go down to the castle nut and the castle nut has been staked in two places, which PSA has been doing for a little while now. Um, so the staking looks great. Now the upper and lower receiver is a standard AR-15 um, upper and lower receiver. Um, it's 7075 T6 aluminum. It has all the standard um, AR features um, that you're used to, like a forward assist, the mag release, the bolt catch and release, and your safety is here. There's nothing ambidextrous on this. But again, it's a very standard upper and lower receiver set. Um, very cool. Moving down, we do have some Magpul furniture here. We do have uh, this Magpul grip. Uh, it is just a standard MOE, and it does have a little compartment at the bottom here if you want to store some stuff in there. Has some nice serrations on the back and texturing here and on the front. It's not rubber over mold, it's just kind of that polymer plasticky feel. But I love Magpul furniture, and it's a nice upgrade over the standard uh, furniture that typically comes with like an AR, you know, comes with that awful kind of grip. So it is a nice upgrade. I do like, I love Magpul furniture. Um, at the bottom here, uh, we do have a, a curved trigger guard. Here it is also made by Magpul. And then we have a Palmetto State Armory EPT trigger in there. It stands for Enhanced Polish Trigger. Um, it's a nice trigger. It's definitely a step up from a mil spec trigger. It's not as nice as a Geisley trigger or anything like that, but it's definitely a nice step up from that. Moving up here, we have the standard charging handle. Again, not a huge fan of these. I do like to switch these out to something a little better, uh, but they'll function just fine. Um, you can see here we have a 1913 pick reel all the way along here. So there's a lot of rail space for adding uh, backup iron sights, a red dot, I don't know, whatever you want to add on there. There's plenty of space. Um, obviously, we have the brass deflector, dust cover, and the boat carrier grip we'll go over in just a second. Comes with 130 round mag. This did come with a Gen 2 P mag for um, a standard AR M4. So with a 300 blackout, uh, you can use these magazines um, that are typically used for uh, 5.56. Um, you, as I say, but there is specific P mags designed for the 300 blackout. Um, you can use these. Uh, some people have said they're fine. Some people had some issues with them, whatever. I'd probably just spend a little bit, a little bit of money and just buy some 300 blackout mags. Um, but again, it's totally up to you. These will work, um, but yeah. All right, so we have a flared uh, magazine well right here obviously for inserting that magazine a little easier. Uh, moving up, we come up to a pretty short rail system here. Uh, this is seven inches. Um, it has some M-lock slots. They, ca they call this a lightweight version, um, and that's because the rail is super aggressively cut out. Uh, we'll go over that in just a second. We have two QD sling mounts on either side here, stamped and made in the US of A right here. Um, so we have that aggressive t uh, cutouts right here. We have some M-lock slots at the three o'clock position. Again, we have some more cutouts. We have some more M-lock, cutouts, M-lock. So three, six, nine o'clock position for your M-lock slots. Um, the gas system is a pistol length gas system. So it's a really short gas system in here with a low profile gas block. Uh, the barrel is eight and a half inches. It is a one and seven twist. Um, and it's a 4150 CMV steel. We have the A2 flash out at the front here and the thread is five eighths by 24. And uh, yeah, so it, the barrel profile, as I said, is heavy. It's a heavy bar uh, profile barrel. Um, and as I said, it's the 4150 CMV steel. Uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna change the camera angle. I'll put this down on the table and we'll go over the trigger and the internals and I'll be right back with you. All right, before we go into the trigger and the internals, I just wanna give you a quick side by side of these rounds just to give you an idea if you're not used to 300 blackout. Uh, this one is a 5.56, actually, excuse me, this one is a 2.23. Uh, this one is a 300 blackout in the middle. And this one at the end here is a 762 by 39. Um, just to give you a little side by side here, but as I say, um, there you go. All right, so let's put them aside. Um, so let's go over the trigger first. Um, so as I said, uh, this is a Palmetto State Armory's EPT trigger, their enhanced polish trigger. Um, let's go and see what the, uh, the pull is like here in the reset. A little bit of take up. 
and then the brake, very, very little take up, and then the brake felt pretty smooth. Um, let's try the reset, a little bit of reset. Oh, excuse me, a little bit of let out and a very tactile and audible reset and a very nice clean break. It's a definitely a decent trigger, as I said. It's a nice um, kind of um, step up from a mil spec trigger, but still nothing uh, crazy to write home about. We don't need that, we need this. So, this is the wheeler trigger scale here. Uh, let's do the pull and see what we get. Okay. So, 5.5 pounds which is not too shabby. Let's try that one more time. Make sure we're going to get a consistent pull here. 5.5 pounds again. So consistent pull. So yeah, it's not a bad trigger at all. Um, so yeah, let's move on. So to take down stone, it's just, again, as I said before, this is a, a, an upper and lower receiver for an AR-15. So you're essentially just going to push the takedown pin here at the, at the back and obviously the one at the front here. All right, so pull that front uh, takedown pin out. That one was a little stiff, but again, this, you know, it's a new firearm. It will loosen up over time. So inside we have your standard fire control grip here. And then we have your buffer spring and your buffer system right here. Let's put that back in, put it to the side. So let's take this out. Again, this is your starting. To, uh, excuse me. This is your standard charging handle. There's nothing to write home about. And then we have your bolt carrier grip. Uh, this is made by uh, Palmer State Armory. It's the non-branded one, though. I've been shooting, so it's a little dirty. Um, so yeah, let's have a look here. The, the staking on the gas key looks okay. On the left side, the staking could be better, for sure. It's not perfect. They definitely could do. Could have done with a being a little better. Um, but the fit and finish overall looks really good. Obviously, this is this is the bolt carry grip, and this is your bolt right here. And it says C one fifty eight. That's carpenter steel one five eight. And it's MPI tested. So overall, it's it's pretty good. That staking needs to be better though. Um, but overall, um, again, I've not had any problems with PSA's bolt carrier grips. Um, that staking does leave a little to be desired, um, but yeah. Okay, so that's your basic takedown. To reassemble, just go in reverse. I'll do that now and I'll change the camera angle one more time and I'll be right back with you. All right, so how was shooting this? Shooting was a lot of fun. Uh, it's a, as I say, 300 blackout is, is a great round. Um, if, as I say, if you want to be that little mall ninja and be super quiet or whatever you want to do, it's a very cool round. Um, so I had a lot of fun shooting it. It would have been a lot more fun if I'd switched the, this uh, A2 out and put my dead air flash hider on there and put my Sandman on there. Um, but I wanted to run this uh, as configured as how you would be getting it to make sure that I didn't have any issues with it before I start tinkering with it. Um, so yeah, everything shot great, but I was only shooting super uh, sonics. Uh, excuse me, I was only shooting at subsonics, excuse me, 220 grain subsonics out of this, um, but everything ran just fine. So yeah, nothing nothing to really report there. Um, just bear in mind uh, also that Palmetto State Armory does have a lifetime warranty on all of their firearms. So if you ever have a problem, you can hit them up and they will take care of you. So yeah, all right, let's talk about pricing. To get the best price on this firearm, scroll down to the description, select the UPC code there, and then enter it into Google and search. And then look for the gun deals link, which is at the top here. Click on that, that will take you to our website. Simply scroll down and you will see where it is in stock and the price. Select whatever one you would like. All right, so do I recommend it? Yeah, absolutely. So much fun, a lot of purposes you could use this for. Home defense, truck gun, backpack, I don't know, whatever you wanna do. Again, if you wanna be nice and quiet, this the 300 blackout is the way to go. Um, if you wanna use it for it, cause it's got that heavier punch, uh, great way to go. Uh, for home defense, it's not gonna over, shouldn't hopefully over penetrate too much. So it's another good way to go. So yeah, very cool. Uh, I love PSA products. They have a lifetime warranty on them. So if you have any problems, uh, you can hit them up and they will take care of you. Um, so yeah, there's a lot to like about this. Yeah, very cool. All right, folks, if you have any questions, any comments, uh, please ask them below. We're always happy to help out wherever we can. And if you haven't hit that like and subscribe button, please do so. It doesn't cost you a dime, but it, we greatly appreciate it. And that's it. Until next time, we'll catch you later.